There is a nagging feeling here in Russia. You, you read it in the newspapers, you hear it on the television, that the, the secret aim of the EU bailout of Cyprus is to target Russian money. Uh, it was interesting watching Russian state television's main weekly news show last night. It contained stinging criticism of the EU uh, and the West, uh, basically saying that the Russians were being treated as barbarians, as thieves. A new world order, the program said, was being created against Russia and at Russia's expense. And the program also compared the, the European Union to a dishonest card player who changes the rules when it grows dark. The classic response, the program said, would, would be to hit them over the head with a candlestick. But this is the European Union. So an interesting view there from state television last night. Picking up on what Steve Rosenberg said earlier, the headline in Bilt, um, this headline here on the bottom, uh, Russians pack their suitcases. So the sense of it all is the Russians have been hit and there's, I don't know, is there rejoicing in that headline? You make up your own minds. But they certainly think this is the deal that there should have been. The other headline there in Bilt, the smaller one to its right, to that side of the screen, if you like, is uh, Finance Minister Schäuble puts his colleagues in the pincers. So the whole tone of the coverage is our man's the tough man, our man's driving this thing through, and the losers will be rich uh, Russians who are packing their suitcases. So if you look at the, uh, the previous reaction from Moscow, it's mirrored, echoed in the reaction in the morning papers here. Will Chancellor Merkel be happy? She'll be satisfied that she'll be seen to have driven through a tough deal which doesn't cost German taxpayers any more in election year. I'm absolutely sure of that.